Welcome to Oh I Had That. I'm Josh. I'm John. John. What's been going on, man? Man, just kicking <laughs> back in the uh, the nerd cave here. Back in it. Back in it. Um, adding a lot of lot of lot of new things lately. Lots of yeah. packages arri- arriving daily, <laughs> for better or worse. We got quite a few boxes on the porch uh, that John had shipped. First collection, some collectibles. A few things. But uh, what's been going on with Oh I Had That lately? Well, I tell you what's exciting to announce is we have three pins, enamel soft pins. We are releasing two are already out. Woo! Able to buy on the Oh I Had That Etsy store. For ten dollars a piece plus shipping, you can bundle them because there's only you know, that's the best way to do it. You got <laughs> you got to have all three. We also have a very very special pin dear to our our own hearts as as um you know old school guys Uh-oh. that have collected for years. It's Toys R Us. We've got a I Don't Want to Grow Up pin with the beloved Jeffrey, the old school retro, like 70s, 80s looking uh, front front of the pin. I feel like it's pretty good tribute to uh, our fallen hero, Jeffrey, and Toys R Us. Yeah. It's the end of an era. It's really sad. It's really sad. And I don't know if you guys out there are going by your local Toys R Us, snagging those deals. But it's funny, you walk in or you see people, they're taking pictures, they're doing selfies in front of the sign. I, it's a big it's a big loss. It's as big as KB. I mean, we grew up with oh, KB yeah. toys, but yet I don't, I didn't, when they closed, I didn't have as much a connection because it was at a time where, you know, I wasn't old enough to appreciate yeah. the, the loss. Whereas Toys R Us, you know, we've got kids. I mean, that's a big thing I do with my son. I mean, he, he wants to go to Toys R Us and run the aisles and... You know, and get new toys, of course, but it's yeah. yeah, it's an end of a, it's a generational thing that I think's uh, unfortunate. So yeah, my my little guy's a little young to like appreciate it and have a love for it, like your young guy. But I mean, I still took him there a handful of times over the last few months, and we went there recently, and got some pictures in front of the sign. Yeah, things that hopefully like later on he'll be like, oh, that's really cool. You yeah, because it's a big, deal. It's a big I mean, part of our childhood, like. Going to Toys R Us was like the, the, that was the big the, thing to that do. Was like, it. And if you were lucky enough to manipulate your parents <laughs> into buying you something or several things, you came out with a win. The big win was when you got to go to that uh, 8-bit NES cage at the front of the store oh, and man. get a Nintendo game out of there. <laughs> they used to have them all locked up. Yeah. Oh. So with, with that first tie-in to to the unboxing I think I think there's something really cool in here. I know what's in there so I I'm, I'm thinking if it's if it's what it should be it is the the limited edition Toys R Us exclusive flocked Jeffrey pop which was supposed to release on March 25th unfortunately it did not go live due to the stores closing so the the Funko headquarters what they did oh. is um, they put it up on the uh, shop.funko.com, which is where all the exclusives go up. Go, go up. Oh, look at this bad boy! Uh, Flocked oh. Jeffrey. So this this guy is it's gonna it's a grail, is what you'd call it now. I mean, this is gonna the most sought after pop besides like fifteen original. bucks retail. Yeah. It's going for I like this 80, for, Yeah, right? it's going for eighty bucks right to now. hundred something. I got um I got it for fifteen bucks. It sold out in I think five minutes. And luckily, was ninja in the mouse and and got this guy. He literally so, it lets you have buy one per customer, and he literally texts he's like, "Fuck Jeffrey, go go go!" I'm like, yeah. "Where? It's already sold like, out." <laughs> no, no. So I was lucky. I'm I, I'm lucky to get him. Uh, uh, he'll be going in a pop stack and in my collection. But yeah, the original one, the unflock, it's already worth over I think 110, 115 dollars. Oh, that's crazy. I it's just... going to be a super sought after collectible for for the people that have that nostalgic co- uh, connection to Toys R Us. It's so beautiful. So I'm super pumped to have this guy. We'll put him over here. Addition one to the the chaos, which is my front. So porch. yeah, you can find our uh, oh I had that pins. <clears throat> Go to etsy.com forward slash shop forward slash oh I had that. Nice. Um, we'll put links on the video as well. Yeah, we have a simple. limited edition Michelangelo ice cream pop and uh, this the Nickelodeon Snick couch with so slime. We all spent our tribute. Saturday nights watching that. Yeah, Saturday nights <laughs> in the early 90s. 
the best of times. Oh man, Nickelodeon was <laughs> it. <laughs> and we'll pop one of those up. I think. It, <clears throat> pop it. Uh, I think along with <clears throat> the announcement of our uh, oh I had that pins we uh, we got a little excited the other day and we thought we'd order a little goodie that could go along with you when you order a pin from us or several pins. Uh, we'll throw something in special for you and maybe uh, we thought it'd be a good time to you know give you a little preview. I think it's time because we haven't seen these. Either, we haven't so. seen them. Uh, we're so excited. So just pop just, this open, and you know, you know, what's really good is when you get a box and you get that beautiful eBay tape on it. Oh yeah, look at that! Like, You're like, oh, won that. My orders here. Fine. <laughs> I won that. I won that. Beat all these other people. Let's see what we got in here. Sweet. Oh, this is nice and bubbled. Awesome. Still yes. can't tell what it is. Yeah. You did a good job. Sliced her open. So this item is going to be kind of a time warp for us. Anyone that grew up, you know, around, you know, I'm 35, John, you're... 32. Actually, I'm 36 now. Holy oh. crap. We <laughs> both just had birthdays. I just turned, we both have March birthdays. Happy birthday Happy to birthday us. Happy birthday to us. This is our birthday. Yeah, I just turned 32. Let's try to get this out here. So we're old dudes, but we're young dudes. So uh, yeah, like growing up, we like... keep the nostalgia alive. Early 90s. Uh, there was a huge boom trading cards. Yeah. 80s into the 90s. They made far too many trading cards. They did, yes. So nothing's worth a damn anymore. Nope. But what, what's good about that is you can go on eBay and get a whole Ooh. sealed box Ooh. of Marvel Universe trading cards. Oh my god. Minty fresh. That's straight, beautiful. Straight out of the back of a comic book store. Quick, I gotta <laughs> smell that 90s goodness. Pop oh that plastic man, off. this plastic. So what we thought would be fun is we're gonna put in every single pin order... A mystery '90s exclusive Marvel, Marvel comics. comics. Yeah, yeah. Uh, not Marvel comics uh, card. So, I'm, good lord, man, I'm so do excited. Do I want to open this? <laughs> yeah, I'm so like salvage the box. Is the best what the possible. best that's gotta way? Go on a, that's got to go on the shelf to open this bad boy. Is does yeah. it pop up so you could like get the card? Is, is remember when you could shelf? display them? You know? Yeah, man. Oh my gosh, it's so good. I'm not versed enough to open this correctly. I think you go all the way up. This is, um, let's see if that works. There we go. Yeah, there it is. Either side. <clears throat> Ooh, that's bad. Ooh, rip a little? No, I think you're good. Yeah, I think you're good. I think it does the same thing on that side. There we go. There it is. Uh oh. Yeah, so we're excited about that. I mean, we. I'm a huge. Oh, oh look, look at these, at these. Packs, man! Look at these. You got Hulk on there. You got Wolverine, Spidey, Spidey. Lots of Spidey. Look All right, so let's, let's, bust let's a pop a couple out. of these open. All right, let's see what kind of goodies that uh, everyone can look forward to receiving from us. Oh my gosh, Doctor Octopus, Ghost Rider, Daredevil, Magneto, Union Jack, Rogue, Nebula, Ooh. Silver Do Surfer, this Hologram, Doctor Doom. Oh. Shoot. Ooh. Man. Got new Fantastic <clears throat> Four. Wolverine, Spidey, Ghost Rider, Hawkeye, Man. Daredevil and Elektra, Super Skull. Oh, Ooh, there oh. it is. Oh. oh, this is a hot There's one right now. There. Yeah, dude. Thanos Infinity Gauntlet. Mm. Oh, that one's going, Beautiful. With, going uh, with me. No. <laughs> that's a good card Got right there. Phoenix. Oh, Galactus. Nice. Man, these are just I think some so of the, cool. I think the coolest thing about these cards, I, I actually personally collected these um, back in the day. Had had notebooks full. And I think some of the coolest things that they do is, um, you know, on the back, it always had, you know, here's Magneto's card. He, he was 6'2", 190 pounds, tells the first appearance and what comic and what year. And then it has all the stats of his power ratings of, like, I just think that's so cool. It shows all their different, you know, strengths and weaknesses and stamina, agility, first appearance in a comic book tells you the book there and wow yeah so you can really like I mean you know as a comic collector you could probably go in and you know really really do some damage to yourself yeah, getting those first are, appearances these are really cool yeah I'm excited about these so we'll <laughs> we're gonna open a bunch up and then we will um, be putting putting these in the pin orders Let's see if they have anyone else on the it looks like it's it's just Spidey, Spidey and, uh, Wolverine, Wolverine and Hulk, Hulk. Bonus right. holograms. Man, that's too So cool. if you get a bonus hologram, you know that we really love you. It's not only that, you know, and one thing we want to make sure people do is uh, take photos with the pins, the cards, hashtag yeah. it. Oh, I had that. 
we wanted to like start a little fun thing there and um, tie into that that Marvel love that we have. So I think this has been a, a pretty successful unboxing and yeah. pin announcement. We just wanted to check in with everyone, uh, just let you know a little bit of what's going on over at Oh I Had That. Still check us out on Instagram at Oh I Had That. Uh, on Facebook, and you can find our podcast anywhere you subscribe to podcasts. Oh, I had that the podcast. Uh, but I think we should sign off. I think we yeah, let's do it, man. Thanks for watching. Like it, love it, share it. We'll see you next time. Because I think we could. Uh, Cheers. Do, like,